I'm cooking dinner, as always. But you guys don't see mostly of me because you see mostly my sister because I work all the time. Um, but today, I'm off today, so we ran a couple of errands, got a couple of stuff done. Um, right now I'm cooking dinner, so I want to make um, some... Um, don't set us on fire now. My nose is itching. Um, so today I am making, um, some, uh, and there's a lot of casserole. That's what I'm making today. Um, uh, it came out of there. So today I'm making a salad casserole and usually give you guys, like, I guess a little bit of my life or single mommy life. This is something that my sister constantly, constantly, constantly has been yelling at me, telling me that I need to do. I Honestly, I've been scared to do it. But we'll do it today. Thanks, boo. It's not food, Papa Boy. Yeah. <clears throat> I thought it was too. <laughs> not the bleach. So, let me move you guys back just a little. I love this season of song. Garlic. And the cord was right there on her computer, on her. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Hi, guys. So, um, I have, I have two girls. As you guys know, I have two girls. I have a nine-year-old and a four-year-old. A Darren and Zendaya. Those are the ones that you see a lot with my sister Ryan because I work all the time. Uh, on her blog channel. On, on, her, on her blog channel. I, um, I also, they have, uh, two baby daddies. I have two baby daddies. I also was going to marry both of them as well, too, but, you know, in the end, ish happens. Um, I... Yeah, we can use that. I, um, with the Dare's dad, I met him, actually, I met him online, and actually, it was, it was like MySpace kind of like thing, back in that kind of day. Um, I don't remember how exactly we met, I think he was like a friend of a friend. Do you want to use it? Um, we, uh. I don't remember how exactly we met on MySpace, but it was like a kind of like a friend of a friend kind of like thing. And we were talking and um, come to find out that he lived like a town, not really, what would you say, like a city over? Not even a city. Be a city? What, I guess be, okay, we'll just say he lived a couple of blocks down the road. <laughs> um, and uh, he... We started talking and I started to go see him and he he told me that he wasn't he used to tell me that he was not well in his head that he heard voices and stuff like that but technically with me he never showed that so I was just like I can handle it if this is what you mean by voices in your head I can handle it um can I get a cutting board and my stuff yes and, um, since I have to stand right here, I can't move and get nothing on myself. She's making me stand right here. I'm not making oi, oi, don't fall. Um, and we went out and stuff like that. We didn't go out in public a lot, but we didn't go out in public a lot. We just went, we would, um, like, go little places, nothing, like, just to be on the safe side, if like a voice in his head or something tells him to go ape shit or something, like we would just go to. I think we like went to the park and the mall and stuff like that. And um, and we were together for about six years. Six years seemed to be like I guess my my number of like. <laughs> um, but uh. Oh, and by the way, I'm browning the turkey meat, ground turkey. I'm doing ground turkey enchiladas. And I got my onions. 
Uh, right now, I'm going to chop those up, waiting for my um, ground turkey to get brown. So, I like to put a little bit of water in there because I don't like it to like kind of stick. And I like it to turn a little brown. And I already seasoned it and everything. Um, but anyway, uh, we were together for six years. Um, my mom didn't like him very much. He would come over and stuff like that. And he would hang out with me and my sister. And we would play video games and stuff like that. I was actually... When I met him, I believe I was like 21, 22. Um, and uh, I, like, he would hang out. You know what? To tell you the truth, I think he was the first one that my sister actually liked because she don't like nobody I date. I don't. Um, but he, I think she, I think she liked him though. I don't know why. But, um, she, uh, we would hang out and all that other stuff. And <laughs> and then should I throw in the pregnancy pregnancy thing too? <laughs> and then we got pregnant. So th the story of how little Adara became was um <laughs> I was I work in I normally, I worked in optical at this time, and um, and usually in retail, well, my retail place that you work, you usually stand up, and um, but the area that I was in was in optical, and we sat down because we saw our patients, and we sat down, but um, it seemed like every time I would sit, stand up, I would get like woozy and I would get nauseous and I'm like okay and then I would literally have to pee like every five minutes and I was like you know maybe I'm just got like a little bladder infection or something like I'm not pregnant my boss at the time her name was Kelly she was really cute hi Kelly I doubt you watch my channel but anyway um her name was Kelly and uh, she was like, you're pregnant. I was like, yeah, right. He tried it. I was like, no, I'm not pregnant. She was like, yeah, I think you're pregnant. And then I was like, no, I'm not pregnant. And a couple days went by, and I was still feeling the same way. And then, um, and then uh, I one day I was just, I was so nauseous to the point where I could not, I could not, like, keep anything down like it was just I was so nauseous and stuff like that and I was like I'm just gonna go home early I don't think Ryan was home either and I was like I'm just gonna go home early and the way that it works is I work in a very big what would you say retail chain yeah so I don't have to tell the name I work in a very big retail chain and what happens is their sister store was right next door so um I'm like I'm just gonna go next door Go get me a pregnancy test. Go home. Just ease my mind that I'm not pregnant. And just go home. So I grabbed the pregnancy test. Go home. And I was like, I'm going to go home early. My mom's not going to be home. So I'm able to take this pregnancy test. At this point, I was already, I was 25. And I'm like, I can take this pregnancy test. And uh, nobody's going to be home. I'll be fine. And all this other stuff. Right? Can I get a bowl for my onions? So I can put like them on top. Like the leftovers? Yeah, so I can put them on top. Um, I, I pulled in the driveway and uh, I was like, damn it! Because you and mommy were home. And I was like, shit, how am I going to take this test, right? And I walk in the garage and we had this freaking alarm system. That you could not sneak in that house if you tried. Trust me, I've tried. And you cannot sneak in that house. And you can't turn it off. And either. you can't turn it off. Because it lets you know. Exactly. Okay. Ah. Oh, yeah. So you can't turn it off. You can't sneak out. You can't sneak in. It lets you know every freaking door you're entering, every freaking door you would exit. So they're home. I'm like, crap. Okay. So my mom's downstairs. She's on the computer. At this time, she was on the computer. 
And my mom was the type of mom in, is when you walked in the door, you spoke, you, 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 you come in, and you, come in, you say hi, you give a hug, you tell about your day and all this other stuff. Well, I think she kind of knew something was up because on this day, I, um, I ran in the house and I ran upstairs. Ryan was in her room. I think I remember. No, no, no. Ryan was downstairs on the couch. Cause, um. Ryan was downstairs on the couch. My mom was on the computer. And uh, we were, I ran upstairs. And I heard Ryan said, it was Siobhan that walked in the door. Only two other people came to the door. You or D. But D, D left at that time. And, um. And, uh, so. <laughs> I ran upstairs, went to the bathroom. Did my thing. I got that. That one touch, I don't know if it was uh, the, 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 what you call it, test, or the one that just says pregnant or not pregnant, just so I don't have to mess up anything and I know, you know, what I'm getting myself into, right? So, um, I get the test, I'm taking the test, I'm sitting on the toilet and I might, the door is closed. The one thing you have to know, it's just me, my mom, and my sister, it's just the three of us. It's, it's all girls, my mom. We walked around the house inappropriate all the time, but it was just us. So, like, going to the bathroom with the door closed was, like, a big deal. So, when I went to the bathroom with the door closed, huh? I said, I think that's why I do it to a dare. Yeah, I don't, probably. Because going to the bathroom, like, with the door closed then was, like, you were doing something you weren't supposed to be doing. Because nobody ever closed the door. And so, um... I remember she came upstairs and she's banging on the door. She was like, what are you doing in there? And I was like, I'm going to the bathroom. And she was like, well, you didn't speak to me when you walked in. And um, you didn't tell me hi or you didn't give me. It was something along that lines. And I was like, okay. And then I just remember holding the pregnancy test and I threw it up under the sink. So I opened the door and I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm just washing my hands now. Is that okay? And she was like, yeah, we'll come downstairs and speak to me when you're done. And I was like, okay. So I come downstairs and. I go downstairs and she's like telling me this and telling me she wanted me to go and get her uh, a pack of cigarettes so me and her can uh, so me and her can share because at the time I was smoking with my mom cigarettes though and um, I was like okay so I went back upstairs and checked the pregnancy test and in big fat bold letters on that thing it says pregnant. I was sitting in the bathroom going, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. But keep in mind, I'm 25, okay? And I'm just sitting there going, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. My mom don't let him, I'm going to die. So then... I'm like nobody. Huh? That's where I get it from. Yeah, y'all don't like anybody. And so, at this point, she gives me her debit card or, or whatever. And here's the, here's the effed up part. You ready? So, as I'm leaving, I asked Ryan if she wanted to come with me. Ryan said no. And I was like, I have something to tell you. And she was like, well, I still don't want to go. It's, Ryan was very mean when she was a teenager. She was evil. Now she stuck to me like flies on doodle and I don't you know why. like there's something new. I'm still mean. She's not mean to me as much. No. But Ryan was very mean, and I told her, I need you to come with me because there's something I have to tell you. She told me, no, I don't want to come. I'm like, can you come with me because there's something I have to tell you? She's like, no. I was like, fine, I'll just tell you now. Ryan was the first person I told that I was pregnant. And she goes, she at first she does this <laughs> face like this, and she goes, yay. First of all, in my defense, half the shit she tells me I didn't believe. So I was just like, okay, this is a joke, so I'm not going to get it. It wasn't even 4th of July yet. Yeah, but half the time you'd be like, it was it's May. This, and then it's this, and then I'm like, eh, okay. It was May. Because I was like, I'm not going to tell mom until like Mother's Day. Because then she like, can't kill me. I was just like, uh huh, yeah. And so. I tell my mom, oh, I have to stop at my cousin Candace's because, and she was also pregnant at the time. I have to stop at my cousin Candace's because she needed a ride somewhere or something like that. She said, okay. So I went to my cousin Candace's and I talked to her 
And I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. Like, what am I gonna do? And she was like, girl, you're 25. Knock it off. It's not like you're 16 and pregnant. You're you're 25. You, you have a full-time job. You have full benefits. You're fine. And I'm just like, okay. <sighs> and then I went to her dad's house and I told him that I told him we were pregnant. And he was kind of excited. The mom was very excited. Um, and the sister was very excited. His brother also. Um, and uh, he, uh, <laughs> he was like, I already knew you were pregnant because you were being a bee. <laughs> I was like, okay. And um, I went home. And uh, my, I gave my mom the cigarettes. And she's like, here, split the pack between the two of us. And I'm like, okay. And I was like, well, I can't. And she was like, why? Ryan's in the room at this point. Keep remember, Ryan is at the foot of the bed. Ryan's at the foot of the bed. I'm on this side of the bed. My mom's sitting on the other side of the bed. Ryan is in the room, okay? You would think Ryan would have my back. This is what I'm telling you. Ryan was evil when she was a teenager. She left me high and dry. So, no, let me tell you. What? So what happened was, okay, mom, I'm cooking, baby. Go in the living room. So what happened was, um, uh, she, she go here, split the cigarettes between us. And I was like, I can't smoke no more. Okay. I also forgot to mention, there was an in-house joke that we always used to say, you would sneeze. And what would we say? You pregnant? <laughs> so there was like an always something like one of us was always pregnant. So when my mom, um, so when my mom, she, uh, I, she gave me the cigarettes and she was like, here, split them. And I was like, no, I can't. She was like, why? You pregnant? And I was like, yeah, I am. She was like, yeah, right, whatever. And I was like, it's true. Ryan was the first person I told. Ryan goes, I don't know what you're talking about. Walks out the room and closed the door behind her. I'm like, holy crap. I still don't crap. know what she's talking about. Holy crap, I'm going to die. Because she closed the door behind her. And Ryan goes, I don't know what you're talking about. It just jets it out the room, right? Then you cannot tell me you don't remember this. <laughs> you were so mean. I did that though. <laughs> that was so mean. Um. Okay. She didn't believe me. So at this point, I have the pregnancy test, and I had it up under my TV. Cause on my TV, I have like a whole lot of movies, and it can slide in there. And um. I uh, bring in the pregnancy test, and she didn't believe me. Sit. She, um, sit. What is that? Sit. Oh, his bones? Sit down. She didn't believe me. She was like, your cousin sit. Candace could have peed on this. I was like, no, it's not Candace's, it's mine. She was like, I don't believe you. I was like, well, if you don't believe me, I was like, if you don't believe me, do you, I have another pregnancy test. Oh, it was a two-pack. I was like, I have another pregnancy test. Do you want me to take it in front of you? And she was like, yes, because I don't believe you. <laughs> That's when your ass went outside. You left me. How do you know when you came back I wasn't going to be dead? Because uh, I wasn't about to stay there and die. <laughs> and so, um, she, she, she opens the wrapping. Just in, like, she, this is what my mom did. She opened the wrapping. She made me sit on the toilet. She's like, sit there and you pee on this. So she's standing in the doorway of the bathroom like this. Yes, like this, <laughs> as I'm peeing on this stick, and I'm like, okay. So she was like, okay, now give it to me, because she has the cat to the pregnancy test. And she's like, give it to me, and I, and, uh, like, I don't, don't give me the pissy yeah, side either. Yeah, don't give me the pissy side either. <laughs> I remember that shit. <laughs> and then, um, I heard it through the door, like. And then she goes, she, <laughs> so she takes it and she puts it on the, uh, the cap on, and she has, sitting on the edge of the bed. She, <laughs> she's sitting on the edge of the bed and she has the instructions. And she's going like this. I don't know what this shit means. Remember that? I can't read, read this, this shit. It's in Spanish. She has the Spanish side. So she's going. <laughs> I don't know what this means. Keep in mind, the pregnancy test is flashing and doing this little thing. And I'm like, mom, it's in Spanish. You can't read it like, you know. And then she flips it over and she just looks at the present and says, <laughs> Were you standing in the doorway at this point? Yeah. And she flips it and it said, Pregnant. And she's like, No! Nah! 
<laughs> she fell on the floor. Mind you, our mom is very dramatic. <laughs> she fell on the floor. And um she she was like, oh my god! Oh my god! No, my baby's pregnant! And I'm just like laying there like what my baby's having a baby! My baby's having a baby! Like, and it's with that asshole! <laughs> and she, Everybody puts an asshole. <laughs> yes, baby. Here. You want a celery stick? There you go. Here, go give these to your sissy. You get four, sissy gets four. Okay? And, um, she, uh... <laughs> <laughs> she she's laying on the floor face down on the floor and she's laying there and Ryan's like are you okay mommy are you okay are you okay and um she's laying on the floor and she's like hand me the phone <laughs> I'm gonna call your grandma <laughs> and um she called my grandma and she's like hysterically crying the way that she was crying, you would think that somebody died, huh? Yeah. She was hysterically crying. And she's like, oh, I got right, so shoulder for a long time um that's about a week yeah was it i think it was, it was more than that no it was about a week when did we go to the hospital it was a week later when, when i mean when you started bleeding yeah i want to say it was probably like a week and a half yeah um but i was already at this point because i've already had my first doctor appointment and everything i was already into my second trimester at this point and um i was i came home i wasn't feeling well and um my stomach hurt. I was cramping. I called the urgent care doctor. She was just like, you know, go home, drink some water and rest. You're probably dehydrated. Because it was the beginning of the summer. We stayed in Fontana. And it was uh, donkey balls hot out there. Okay? So free! <laughs> and um, so we, I went home and I got the sensation that I had to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom and and I went and I laid down then I had the sensation again that I had to go to the bathroom but I, when I got up this time I had nothing but blood gushed out of me you would think that it was like a water um how can I say 
You're water breaking? Any ladies that know how had their water break before? I've had one, re not recently, but I've had one. That's how it felt when your water, it, it was, but it was blood. It was nothing but blood. And I, my first reaction was to jump in the shower. Ryan was there, um, and my first reaction was to jump in the shower. So I jumped in the shower, and I'm screaming for Ryan, and she was like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I told her she needs to call 911. And I was like, call mommy, and then call 911. And um, mommy said, mommy's told you to call 911, huh? Yeah. So we call 911, can I have some more water for the seasoning? Just a little more. Um, I called 911, and the ambulance came, and they're talking to me like I already lost the baby at this point. I was heartbroken. I was like, okay, you know, and I was like, well, how do you know I lost the baby? And they were like, well, can you tell me how much blood it was? And I was like, I honestly, I can't tell you how much blood it was because I made a mistake by jumping in the shower. So I was thinking to jump in the shower and wash the blood off. I don't know why I thought that. That was like my first reaction was to jump in the shower. And um, I jumped in the shower and then they caught the aftermath of the blood. Were you in the front of the ambulance or did you ride with mommy? No, I was, I think I was with you. You were in the front of the ambulance? No, because they didn't let me go with you. Well, yeah, I was because mommy met us at the hospital. And um, what are you getting out of here? Uh, I remember getting to the hospital and they're talking to me like I've already lost the baby. I've already lost her. At this point, keep in mind, my mom wasn't really talking to me that much. So she was still kind of pee at me. And um, I'm in the room and the nurse, I remember a nurse came in. I think, I don't know if you guys were like still checking me in or what, but I was already in the room and the nurse comes in and she tells me, I'm sorry for your loss. I was like, my loss? What loss? And she was like, oh, they came in and told me you had a miscarriage. And I was like, no, I'm bleeding, but I don't know what's going on. And she was like, oh. And she, <laughs> she walked out and then the doctor, like, it was so fast. And the doctor walked in and then he goes, okay, let's check this baby out. And he was like, how many weeks are you? I don't, I just remember saying I was in uh, the end of my, uh, I'm in the beginning of my first, my second trimester. And he's like, okay. And he um, didn't say anything. And he gave me the ultrasound. And here's Adara in there, floating around. She's like, what? <laughs> She's in there, floating around. And I remember, and I started crying because they were talking to me like I've already lost her. And, um, and I remember just crying and my mom's like are you okay but okay, she's behind I'll the give curtain you another one. i'll give you another one no more olives there's no more olive juice and um drink your olive juice no more olives it's gonna go in the food okay and uh my mom was standing my sister and my mom were standing behind the corner not, not the corner no, no not this point when they were doing giving me the ultrasound you weren't in there you guys were standing behind the curtain and yeah. that's when i started crying and that's when mom, my mom was like, can we see? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and the doctor was like, it's your call. If you want them to see, you can see. And I was like, yeah, I want her to see. And she, was, she came in there, and then my mom started crying. And she was like, it's for real. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> it's, it's real. real. It's real. I guess we are having a baby. And then she, after that, she totally became a very... Buggy, OCD, OCD, overprotective mom. If I was late five minutes, <laughs> five minutes, this woman would call me and be like, where are you? You're this many months pregnant. Where are you? You're this many weeks. You should be home right now. You should Bring be resting. Bring my baby home. Bring my baby home. And all this other stuff. Um. And, uh, we got to the point where we, it's time to, uh, during the pregnancy, her dad, I don't, I, I don't know if I said his name or not in the video, so just make sure you cut it out if I did. 
during this time, her dad, um, we were still, I think we were still good. Like, we were lovey-dovey and stuff like that. And Yeah, you made me want to throw up. He, he balled up and came to the shower, even though he said that his voices in his head told him that he can't. And, um, he, uh. He, we opened pregnant presents. And we opened pregnant? Yeah, I know, right? And, um, he, the day, well, I can say the day, he was just very attentive. Like, he, he didn't work, so, you know, nothing else better to do but to be attentive. Um, but, uh, um, he, the day comes of, um, my due date comes and goes. My, at this point, we go to the doctors once a week because they have to do this little stress test to check her heartbeat and all this other stuff. And then um, they, uh, I'm trying to remember because I just remember that they, they started to uh, say that she was going to be induced. I was going to be induced. So, because she was overdue. So by her being, I was being induced on the 14th, had her on the 15th, there was a whole lot of drama and labor and delivery. I really don't remember half of that because I was in so much pain and I really wasn't focusing on that. My sister, thank God for her, she kind of like kept it under wraps and a little bit away from me because the doctor said that I didn't need to be under that stress and I just remember her saying that she was, um, I just remember Ryan's telling my mom, not now. Not now, because that was when him and his, my, our mom and him were arguing, right? Yeah. And, um, what happened to the thing? Oh. And, uh, the moment I knew that it wasn't going to work out for us is he always promised me that he was going to be there for labor and delivery. And the only people that were there was, um, Ryan and my mom and I remember calling him and he wasn't answering I remember calling his mom and his mom was like he's asleep we can't wake him up I, I was just like it was very heartbreaking and uh we finally uh it was time to push and he didn't make it and they were like he's not gonna come so he's not going to come until the next day. So I'm, we went to labor and delivery. And uh, she pushed, put a couple pushes, she came out. No. <laughs> That's a lie. I don't remember. Push, push. She's dead. Why don't you do that to the camera? <laughs> you tell your, tell it from your part. Push, push. She's stuck. I want a C-section. But her head is like right there. Who was all up in my cooter? Dang, girl. Um, I was holding your leg. <laughs> and uh, she, he gets there. I don't know if he was drunk or high or what. But he couldn't even walk in the room straight, right? He didn't come till the next day, though. No, yeah, this is the next day. Sorry, this is the next day. But when he comes in, he walks in like, <laughs> right? And my mom was like, what the, what the, what? Actually, my mom had to threaten him to get there because she was like, if you don't come and sign the birth certificate, you won't be able to see her at all. And she was like, I'll make sure to it. And she wouldn't have your last name. And she wouldn't have your last name. That was the thing. She wouldn't have your last name. And uh, she... He, big on last name. Yeah, she, she was here. mad that I was even thinking about giving her his last name. But uh, she... He finally shows up. He's so tipsy that my mom is lit. She is so mad. She was just like, you couldn't stay sober one day. For your daughter. One day. And uh, she. She. He, she was like look at your daughter. 
and he walks over and he looks at her and he goes wow wow and she was like she's yours pick her up she's yours so she picks her up he picks her up and i was like you know he's kind of been drinking and my mom's like i know and she's standing there guiding him to the seat and whatever and he's just looking at her and saying wow 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 so about what Right, Adara was like what eight nine months old, yeah. So, about October, um, no, what would we say? She started getting sick really, really sick. September, you she was nine months, no one, no, that's my mommy, yeah. But this is about you, I know, but I'm saying like this is like the stuff that led to the breakup and stuff, so. My mom started getting sick. She ended up having cancer. She passed of ovarian cancer when Adara was nine months old. At this time, I needed his support, and he was not able to give that to me. So I had to do her funeral alone. I had to plan like all this stuff, and I had the person I was supposed to marry and 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 be with I was supposed to have him by my side and I couldn't and uh, he he just said he can't be there for me he just can't it's too much for him to be there for me and my uncle and them moved us out here I tried to still make it work for a while and um, I just couldn't and I broke it off and he became very mean like he wouldn't show up he he wouldn't call her or he would send me like very mean text messages saying that or not text messages but pictures saying like look i'm taking care of this kid and i'm not taking care of that kid how you feel now like just like some really low shitty stuff right and so um after that i was like you know, my mom died. I don't want to have any more kids because I don't want, I don't want my mom to miss out on any more kid grandbabies because she wouldn't be able to see them. I stopped dating for a long time. Adara was probably maybe I want to say two years old. 